Hopefully, welcome back. I'm Strange Professor. Let's go ahead and get back in here. Alright. Uh, yep, yeah, I think we're just gonna raid. I guess I didn't end the turn. I meant to end the turn last turn. We can't, um, we can't upgrade our buildings anymore. We need to try to get to the 25 calls so that we can do, um, the scraps of food, the extra money. And then we're going to try to come down here fairly soon after that and get, um, the, uh, beastly stupor. 12 turns. I might even need that more than horde growth, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Because I want to get Maligor um, on board as fast as I can. And then grab him, like, do the ungore thing with him and stack him full of stuff also. I mean, honestly, maybe I should be doing it. I mean, I can't really afford much more right now, so I don't think it's a problem right now. But maybe I should be going for the ungore thing with him. I mean, it says gore units, not vestigore. Um, we're probably not getting gore. I mean, they're called separately here. Minus 10% for gore units. Gore hard. I'm trying to see if that would include best of or not. Because that's probably a bad idea if it does include best of ores. Uh, so I'm going to look at his skills here. Because this says Gore Herd and Best of Gore Herd. But it also says Ungore Spearman and Ungore Herd. So it says both Ungores. So. This doesn't give you a discount on Best of Gores, though. At the top, and it says a 10% discount on gore. I don't know if that includes best gores or not. It says ungores. I think the penalty wouldn't. I think the penalty would include best gores. It'd just be really weird if it was only gore, and it says units with an S. Okay, we're done with this turn. Uh, I already look at the people and really? get money out of them. I'm in charge here. What do you want? Draw blood! Get it, Claw! No, what we're do you gonna want? wait on getting green with him. Okay. So, yeah, I want to get Maligor then and get a Vestigor thing with him. And then we can just put, like, all of the Menagors. Or Minotaurs and the um, the gore units, the best of gore units on um, on the main dude there. They ain't putting on gores on everybody else. I was looking over the magic too. It looked like Trader Ken. Now I, w I found an old um, like magic damage breakdown. I'm not sure if it's accurate for SFO or not, but it said that Trader Ken didn't do that much less damage than um, Block of Doom, and it's basically the same price. But it has closer range. I think it's only 100 range, so and it only has a 30 radius instead of a uh, 40 radius, which is a big deal. Um, it does like more damage per tick, but affects less units. Like I think it affects like nine units per battalion, whereas um, Flock of Doom and um, Devolve affect 18 units per and how it calculated that was it said that it does something along the lines of 18 per tick but there's only a 15% chance 
um, for it to do damage. So what it ended up saying was every unit that gets hit on average, if they have at least 19 units in it, Devolve does like 3,000 damage. Um, and on, on average, and then Trader Ken, I think, did something like 1,500 or close to 2,000 on damage, something like that, between 1,500 and 2,000. And then Flock of Doom also did like 1,700. So Devolve does way more, and that's pretty obviously, pretty obvious visually. But that's the best one. Um, okay. So Paravon wants to fight us. Okay, these guys have two, two things left. Where's their other one? Oh, they. Okay, so they sent their main army over here to knock out the Broken Nose, right off the bat. Wow, they ran straight through Wood Elf territory to go kill them. Alright, that's pretty troll. Okay, how strong? Okay, Paravon's not that much stronger. Okay, we can probably take Paravon here soon. Okay. Moving so slowly. Yeah, okay, so we don't have gargantuan hooves yet, I guess. We need to get Fury of the Herd. I maybe could have just gotten away with just going Devolve instead of Flock of Doom. That would have saved three points, but. I don't know. I feel like you can't use your magic fast enough. Or it's harder to. Maybe that's not true. Eyes, Lexa! Wow, real? Yeah, I need to get some movement on that voice. Um, yeah, we are hemorrhaging money right now. Okay, Bordelow's a bit stronger. We see Bordelow somewhere. Tinker, tinker. My infernal armory interests you. Yes, yes. Because they're like sworn to enemies of the other guys, it won't let me do a defense alliance with them. That's interesting. So if there are certain people that are sworn enemies, you can't do defense alliance with them. So they're like at war with Clan Scryer. Okay. Well, obviously I'd rather be friends with Clan Scryer. Um... I think as far as these bonds go, I probably just want to go call. Tribal call. I mean, the building thing could be really good. This, if, if I knew it was actually like four horde buildings. Maybe there are some buildings that take less time. I wish I could just like try it out. I mean, I could, it doesn't, well, I don't know if it would save it or not. 
I think it only saves after uh, battles. Like if that if that was actually buildings. Um, Like, if that was actual real buildings, um, like, cost management, then I might actually, uh, be tempted to do it. But I think the biggest cost savings is honestly just going for, um, going for the 25% on board upgrade just immediately. It's just so important to just spam every Ungor upgrade I can get. Yeah, there goes Broken Nose. <laughs> so we just had to milk as much money as we could out of them. I don't think there are any more people that we could be chill with other than, like, Beastmen, other Beastmen factions. So we're going to have to take out Breon here. Dude, Durthu... I can't fight him, yeah. I don't think. Why is he protecting these elves? He's supposed to be at war with Paragon. Or protecting these Bretonians. Scryer has not occupied any of those ruins yet, which is kind of annoying. I mean, we gotta keep going forward. Like, we're hemorrhaging money right now. I still don't think we can beat him in a straight fight. I mean... It is possible, but... I don't know how my money was so much stronger last time than it is. Or, like, the, the time when I had six... Um, So he can attack while he's in that stand. Okay, get the attack with him. And I would like to get that horde growth. But I can't afford buildings. He's going to get a lot of gore later on. Any of these other ones make sense? I think these other ones kind of suck. You get post-battle loot, but you lose money from raiding. And raiding is one of your big things. That is really nice. But you lose 25% movement. What's the upkeep right now? 180? 25% is a lot. I will not blight my soul. So he can't hit me in one turn, but... I, I can't really run away either. I could try to burrow under. I am a lord of Bretonia. I can Never! Both of them. Zero chaos. Ah! I mean, that's for best of ours also, so we need to get that. I mean, we could just crank it up right now and hire a few more units. 
Aqua Axo Arifus. Just kind of double down on the cost. Now, he's going to be able to upgrade for way more. And can I fight that? It's got walls. Of course it does, because every tier 3 gets free walls. Bretonia. I mean, who are they fighting? Are they not fighting Paralon? No, the normal Wood Elves are fighting Paralon. Yeah, it's basically just me. They're definitely trying to knock me down. Mm. Now, Bretonia's probably coming in from over here. I guess we could run out on the ocean and try to retreat oh, that way if they want to come out. I mean, we can win this fight pretty decisively. We got a moon battle coming up soon. If we get a Bray Herd, we can probably beat him. We get a clean victory here. We might get a Bray Herd. They can hit me in one turn. Should be able to run, but they could push me into the like. It could get weird if they, depending on the angle they attack me from. I don't know everything they have, but I would have to win this fight and then win the next fight and then win the next fight after that. Yeah. Beat them in a straight up fight. So if I win this, burn this, these guys can't get me in one turn. Um, these guys can, but I must keep my holy vow. Probably don't no! have the power to kill me. What kind of magic is this? What you ask is impossible. She doesn't have any skills though, so it doesn't. I mean, she could still have a spell or two. She's outside of the town. So I could easily clean that up and not really take many losses. And I could go into hidden and camp stance. Other dude's gonna come at me, fight me. I kill them. But then what happens? Can I get... I, I don't think I can get into the water. If I occupy... Do you take well, me okay, so... Show? If I burn it with one person, then occupy it with the other. He's going to be able to come up and fight me. But then... He will not. And then I can run out through the port. Yeah. Uh, this guy might be able to kill me if he fights me, though. But then I can probably, like, run out through the port and just, like, come back through here. So then I would just have to be able to beat these guys and then pair of on open field. I gotta make progress. Like, I could loop around here and try to, like, raid this, but then they're gonna come at me over here, like, raid this. It's gonna be the same deal. So I think I've got to make a move on it. Uh, now, if I occupy it, these guys are going to take a lot of damage, though. It doesn't let me unless I own the port. can't hand off the ass. So these single entity guys won't take damage. These guys, including my main minotaurs, will take damage. So I would have to win I this fight without the minotaurs Never. being that strong. But I think I can probably do that. That's what we're going to have to do, because I'm going to have to run from um, Durthu. I mean, hell, I wonder if I could take um, some high elves or something over here. I just, I can't fight these Durthu. How are the matchups for high elves? They have a lot of, um, 
That's just it's so random to come over here. I guess I could, um, I could just get on the water and run up here towards Aquitaine and then touch in over here. There, I don't know what I'm getting into. Bordelow is kind of strong too. I just really don't want to fight Argolon. Okay, let, let's see how clean this fight is. Maybe if I just run down and replenish for a turn and just like... I don't know. I just think that I can't... I mean, how much would I get for rating this? Seven hundred something. I mean... If I win the fight, I could also get a Bray Herd. If I get a Bray Herd, I can beat them all, for sure. So if I get, like, a super clean fight, I might be able to get a Bray Herd. And I can take the option to give me the 10 uh, stuff, I believe. I don't know if it'll trigger the Bray Herd that turn or next turn. Hey, thanks, Garrett, for the um, for the sub. I appreciate it. Maybe that's what I have to do. I just have to take the Bray Herd action. Okay. Let's do that. Not in this world or the other. I don't want to pull them outside of the town. Yeah. Oh, we can do that. Zero chaos. Let's. Let me see. The angle here. He's reinforcing, right? Yes. Shark. Oh, we ambushed her. Sweet. That, that's the first time I've seen an ambush actually work. Okay, so we just get a free level up, basically. She didn't even die off of that. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I get a level up. I'll take it at this point. Alright, nice. Okay, so after we win this fight, or we could just run her down and kill her right now. I must keep my holy vow. No! Movement. So I could run her down, kill her. 26% movement. And I could either do hidden in camp or. Um, I could occupy the town. So this guy can't move. Either way, he's gonna have to attack this, and he's not gonna be able to move. Okay, Gore Fury. I want more sleeves, gift. That thing's pretty sweet. I think, right? Is there anything else new that I missed? Um, yeah, just upgrade that. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and kill her. We don't get any of the captive stuff at the end. I mean, it is just a single entity, so I guess that makes sense, but. Oh, he actually has to be the one to attack. Ooh, I forgot about that little tidbit. No one over there has siege attacks. Which means yeah. these guys would have to be the one to occupy to pull off the, my plan that I wanted. 
unless I just loot and occupy with him. Which is gonna cost me a hell of a lot of money, so I'm gonna do that, but that might be my only way to escape. I mean, if I take the the beast stuff or whatever, I'm pretty sure plus 10 if we win this fight, like, super clean. I'm pretty sure we're going to get 10 more. And uh, then get a braver. Okay. Uh, Alright, we got these... Get the vigor loss. Upkeep reduction. Um, call to violence. All that stuff's pretty good. Uh, could also go with this. I do need this eventually for the uh, eight horde growth once I start getting a little more money. Actually, getting this right here for the 30% uh, raid and the extra raise money might be a little bit better. I definitely need this plus one rank whenever I'm going to hire the uh, Malagor, but that's still a little ways off. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Anything that's money. Okay. So this guy is going to be able to go hidden in camp if we want to. Uh, could get plus five melee attack, missile resist. All that stuff. The other alternative would be going to hidden in camp and maybe they don't see him. And I get a lot of replenishment too after the fight. Alright, let's do it. Yes, it's gonna be real scary. So I could take it as a port, which means I'm not going to get any money. What's the thing that gives you the bestial rage? Is that I think it's the 50 growth, right? It's not bad on Cosmic. I mean, but does he get? It seemed like didn't I take the 50 growth before, and it didn't really like do that much. Wait, it was 50. The fifth, I don't remember the package. It was 50 growth plus some other stuff. I can't remember if that was glitched or not. Or no, it was like the next turn you're supposed to get the growth. I, I don't know. Whatever gives me the 10 bestial rage, that's what I need though. And I'm not sure if that's going to give it to him or if it doesn't give it to Malagor, then that could be a big problem. I mean, the safer bet is probably just to occupy this so that I can run out that port before Durthru comes at me. So I'd be giving up some money, but at least I'd be leveling up a little bit. could set all of these up way over here and then have these dudes come in at a different angle so that the shots don't come in but whatever it's fine Yeah, 
in the cliff over there. It is kind of weird they spread out all over the walls, but that's what it is. Please, Rateos! So let these guys get up here, then we'll just collapse in on them here in a second. Oh, 
Alright, well, that's step one. Pretty clean fight. Gorbel took a little bit of a key there. But that's probably alright. I just don't know if both armies are going to get that bestial bonus or not. Because I forgot about that because he has to be the one that attacks because he has the Minotaurs. But I wanted the other person to, you know, be the one with all the units because they're going to get the discount for Ungors. And I didn't want to give him the discount because I eventually, you know, want to play to his strengths and get a bunch of um, Bestigors. And I don't want those to cost 20% more. So, you know, eventually he's probably going to have a stack of like, I don't know, eight Bestigors or something. Preferably with some Minotaurs to go with that. Maybe the other guys, maybe I do get centicores with the other guys, because I get a 20% discount on them. Although they are still on the expensive, or 30% discount with that five. Um, I mean, with that kind of price, maybe they're worth. They're just probably they're so terrible in sieges. Okay, this is the 10 bestial rage. Now, I'm not sure. We had a really clean victory there. 2300 would be so glorious. So I don't need the Dark Devotion right now. What are these penalties? Mean? We're losing some bestial from different alliances and stuff like that. Now, he could also go into ra raiding stance if I want, but I can't really do that because... Okay, so I could do this, try to get the Bestial Rage. If I don't get it... Um, then I'm going to have to occupy the town with him which will probably hurt all of our units, like, a lot. And then we'll lose the fight to Paragon if I do that. If I defile and occupy, then I don't get a lot of money. But I would get a lot of replenishment. Um, and I would be able to use this port to leave. So I would basically be able to fight Paragon. I'm leaving a lot of money on the table to do that, but uh, if I could win the fight versus Paravon, then I could leave. If it's burned, it's a lot harder for me to leave. But I just am not gonna have, because I'm not gonna have a port to go through. Versus if I have a port, I can get the hell out of here and maybe try to regroup somewhere else. I just don't know. It says this army, though. 50 horde growth, this army. Um, and he doesn't have the 17 units, and I can't hand it over, so I don't think that's going to work. So if we just raise it, we get money, we go into Hidden Encamp, Paravon comes over and attacks us, Durthu rolls up, and then what? I can't run, like, if Durthu rolls up after that, I guess I could get into the water. They can't get into the water and hit me on the same turn. So I take this fight, I can get into the water, and then dash, and get, um, like, touch down in another port somewhere. I'm trying to think if I could, like, go for Hiles or something right now. What am I going to be facing? 
A lot of, like, archer type of units. Lightly armored. Um, they're not gonna have sword masters of poets, probably. Uh, they have high leadership, just kind of your standard spears are pretty weak. Lothar and Seaguard are okay, but they're not gonna be that great against us, and they spam a lot of Seaguard. What else? They're not gonna have sisters, they're not gonna have dragons. Um... what I was talking about where it'd be really nice to have like a fallback zone. If like Skaven had occupied some of this over here then I could maybe fall back. High holds are not immediately hostile with us so what if I occupy this and then try to just run across the sea or something? Can I just beat Durthu? Just straight up turn around and fight him? He's so scary, man. Like, I, I lost a campaign off of this, like, three or four turns. He's just, he's so OP early on, and we just don't have any way to kill him. High Elves do not have good magic, I don't think, early on. What, they don't have fire. I don't think they have beast. What do they have? They have high magic, life magic. Neither one of those is very good against what I'm trying to do. If we burn it and raid, what is that? That doesn't really accomplish very much, I don't guess. I just hate leaving this much money on the table right now. This would allow me to go further up the coast, though. Maybe I could drop into, like, Vampire Coast. Or, like, not Vampire Coast, but those vampires up north a little bit. Touch in there, raid them a little bit, and then start burning somebody else. Just, I don't have very much time. So what, we burn this, and then we just jump in the water or just make a run for it? I think we just burn it, right? The only, like, the only benefit of this is, I guess I can run. If I burn this, I could split the army up. Oh, I don't have much movement speed. So, if I occupy this... Thurthu's going to come through and take it. So, Paravon's going to come at me. I'm probably going to kill him, hopefully. Uh, I'm not going to have a garrison or anything here. I will be hidden. So they won't see the secondary army here. Um, I lose out on 2,300 gold. get good replenishments, then I'll be full health if I want to fight Durthu. But then I can escape through the fort and move really quickly to another location. So I could probably save a turn or two if I did that. I guess that's worth, because like, if I have to take an extra turn, that's 1100 and it's a lot more risky. Like, burning it, can I get into the water right now if I burn it? No, then Paravon's gonna kill him. So I'd have to burn it, Paravon attacks me, I jump in the water, try to run, jump in the water, Durthu may jump in the water after me and just keep chasing me until I'm done. Versus if I have the fort, I can roll out and then I'll be really far ahead of him. I hate leaving that money on the table, but I think I need <laughs> Helm of Discord is actually quite good. Okay, so Durthu can't hit me. Paravon, I don't know if they can attack in that stance. I assume they probably can. Now, if we go into Hidden and Camp, I don't think they're going to see either one of us. So there's a chance they could get ambushed, which would help out. Um. Okay, so we finished this. We need to get over to uh, Blessed by Evil. 
lower that cost even more. Just gotta get this, gotta get that cost down. Do we have any more turns of, uh, I think we're out of our moon bonus. What was Rafael's? If I raid, I think if I raid, I might actually get the, um, I might actually get the Bray Herd here. Okay, here's the town. Oh, we, I didn't realize you get a port also. Yes, we do get 25 growth faction wide. Plus 10% campaign movement range if you start in the area. Okay, we do actually get a small garrison. We don't have it this turn, though, of course. Um, okay, so we get a level 2 town for free. So level 1 doesn't give you anything. 25 growth, corruption, region-wide. 50 income. So you get 75 income, which is not, not terrible. But then, like, the full, um, the full upgrade gives you, like, a little bit more, like, garrison and stuff like that. But you can't really defend it that well. I mean, maybe, like, late game, getting the two call everywhere could be really nice. But you just can't give up the money early. We're about to get a moon in a few turns. Okay, so I think if we raid, we're going to be winded in combat, but we should have a Bray Herd. Zero chaos. Okay, so I think we just need Gargantuan Hooves, and then we're going to Blessed by Evil. Yeah, I mean, I want the 8 growth, but I need the money. We need Blessed by Evil and Feasting Upon Man. Okay, Gorble, Moment of Truth. Do I want 10% upkeep reduction or 14 leadership? Evasion chance is very nice. But recruitment rank, recruitment cost is nice. But the upkeep for everything is just I gotta, feel like I gotta have that. Fourteen leadership is so crazy though. I really I mean I have seventy five leadership on these dudes. 64. I mean, 10% right now is only 180 gold, and I'm scared. I'm, I am scared that I'm pretty close to, like, dying, but that's only your army. That's not AoE, so that's only these guys. So that does not apply to this whole Go army right here. It doesn't matter. Unless I put the Gorbul in this army, which I could do that. Uh, I can't do it right now, though. So that's... So it'd only be four right now if I went for it hard. That's only recruitment cost right now. Leadership's so high with some of these dudes, though. He's got 15 leadership. I'm gonna go with the money. I just... Money is just so crucial. I do really want that too, but I can't do it. And we could do Unholy Resilience. That's only for Lords. An event, we don't want a Lightning Strike yet though. But the Horde Growth is really nice. 
Uh, I think just the rating income. Getting 23 extra from rating is pretty big. And raise money. All right, so we should, I hope, get a Brave Herd. I think it triggers at end of turn. It checks your stuff at the end of the turn. Um, what do you offer? Things for burn fuel in my warp forges? Wait, we can trade? I mean, we can't build any resource buildings. These little things are worth 125 or 75 gold each. I guess that's not crazy, but. I mean, we could see if they pay us for trade. Now, maybe I don't want to do that, though, because that could lower. I could get another penalty for extra alliances. So I don't even want to screw with that. We'll just do that next turn. Um... These guys I do not come care. to the clan. What could we I think do they just come at you if, if you're like if you're close to them on the water. They just my infernal armory interest. Yes, yes. Never. Okay. Uh, did they occupy? Okay, they occupied that, but not this stuff yet. I assume Carcass owns probably coming back over here sometime. All right. Um. Winds of Magic, Horde Growth. Oh, we don't have 550. Oh, never mind. We could get Call right now. What, what would that do? That wouldn't really do anything for this next fight. Uh, could get a Follower. The Rust Totem. It's too much. It's too close, I think. So we might have to run for a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think we just gotta wait. I'm, I'm scared. I really want to lose this campaign. I rated if you didn't notice that, um, because it lowers. It gives you four extra bestial rage. Um, uh, whenever you raid, and it lowers my upkeep by. 10%. Now, it is going to be awkward if they uh, if they attack me and I have to run. In fact, I'm probably just going to have to fight them and start the campaign tired. I don't know why I didn't get a Bray hurt off of that, so that's pretty troll. Is it the start of my turn? It checks. Argolon didn't roll up. Do we already pass Paragon? Okay. Paragon didn't hit me. Uh, they did lose vision of me, I believe. Okay, we did get a break hurt. So it checks at the start of your turn, not the end of other turns. That's a fairly weak one. We do have a giant and a psychor. 
but I've seen stronger. I do have a chariot, Razor Gore chariot. Which town's gonna make more money? These savage orcs here. It says Bordelo is pretty strong. Wood elves are still busted up from where I killed them before. They're not confederating with everybody yet, so that's good. Sorry, one of my um, department heads emailed me just something real quick. Okay. Got some projects coming up. Um, okay. So we have a couple of options. We can come over here and make a move on Paravon. That is close to the elves. I might be able to beat them if I go into like hidden camp. And they... The problem is, like with the Bray Herds, these things tend to just go wild if you let them do their thing. So they will just attack somebody even if you tell them not to. Sometimes. Um, we do have a moon coming up. Actually, the moon is kind of bad sometimes because I'm really tempted to take, like, something that debuffs my army to get better campaign stuff. Um, so we can come up here and raid this. What? I wish it told us how much we'd get for a raid. Other options over here. I'm inclined to get away from those elves. I think I can beat... Um, I, I think I can beat Bretonia for the most part. It's just the elves. Durthu specifically is really difficult to deal with. I just don't have good anti-large. Like, this is about as good as it gets right now. On the other hand, I mean, I need to kill the elves, ideally, before they get too strong. But if I can just get away from them, then it's totally possible. I don't even have to fight them this campaign that much. So, yeah, we could try to run across the pond here and fight some high elves. But I think if we can just get away from the normal elves, Bretonia is actually a little weaker than high elves, typically. Bretonia is really bad on sieges, usually because their best units are going to be um, cavalry. Our cavalry is terrible in sieges, just in general. One army here. They it could is have forbidden. another one over there. We're still kind of living in dangerous times here. Who's... Who's but we do get plus 10% movement range for reasons. Okay. So we can roll up here and raid. You honor me. Can't quite see them. Let's have another army there. How many properties do they have? Because they, they've got probably three armies. They only have two properties. So I'm not sure where they are. Who else are they fighting? Got to use a little deductive or inductive reasoning here. Uh, okay. Probably fighting Lucian. So they might be over there hitting them. 
Let's move see on getting siege right now. Usually you can see like some fire and stuff. It's hard to say. Okay. I Go see we should be able to come up here and I hit We could have someone come rolling in out of nowhere. Vibkum! I guess I should just scout more then. I, mean, I could roll up a little bit more. It's so spooky to go for that. How much more call does that give us? It gives us two more call. I can get two more. 21 more. I need 25 to get that tech. We are finishing this. I didn't think about switching over to this. Um, or maybe even this. Well, let's go ahead and finish this. And then we'll go over there and grab the ungored thing. And start working the Lord stuff after that. Okay, so the question is, do we want to risk going up? Spending 3,600. I just don't think we can do that. Uh, I can wait to go all the way up here. Okay, and that's that. Well, that's gonna go down sometime soon. All right, uh, where are we at? Hour two. Okay, but in this turn, um, it's definitely pretty tense right now. Got that. Uh, I mean, we might as well try to get Every one good ear, yes, yes, but I still hear you. 80 per turn. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Can't trade anything, but I mean, eighty gold a turn, five hundred up front. Take any money I can get. Uh, yeah, I don't want to buy. I need to upgrade my town. I don't think I can afford to buy any of this stuff right now. As much as I would love to, I think I need that onboard discount. Like yesterday. Dude, don't. Did he actually kill him? Wow. Okay. I would really love to go smack Paravon, but I'm just so deathly scared of um, Dirt there. I didn't even see him on my map. I guess he did. Okay, Scry are taking this stuff now. Okay, they're finally coming in, grabbing these ruins. I guess they were really scared of Talia or something. Ooh, okay. And there he is. There's the end. Okay, we could try to kill Carl. Love it how he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna run past everything and just beeline straight for these beastmen. Really? Okay. What is that? Can they raid? 82. Spread the word. 
That's interesting. Dang, that is a lot of modifiers. Oh, you could do it in your own province. So it's either a raid or... I wouldn't mind doing the SFO Britonia update. That'd probably be pretty cool at some point. I did Britonia fairly recently. All right, five or six months ago. I say recently because a campaign usually takes like a month, month or two. I wouldn't mind doing another Empire campaign either using the new um, Empire. I have a Wolf for it. Um, I want to say Wolfric, but that's not right. Wolfheart campaign. But I would love to do like a Balthazar Gelt campaign also. It's just, you know. I've already done it recently in Empire 1. Okay, Bastogne looked really weak on the bar. Paravon doesn't have an army, apparently. So maybe we, uh... Go after Paravon. Are they not at war with me already? Okay, I do not want to call them in. They're probably... Okay. Wait, why am I low reliability? Because I didn't call in my allies to help? I guess they killed the Paravon army, but that's what I'm talking about. I, like, they just go off and do their own thing so often. Negative growth? Okay, whatever. Okay. Not likely. He's not that injured. Did it hurt this? Acts of treachery. What were these acts of treachery? I didn't have a non-aggression with Torgoven, right? I don't know. Anyways, we'll get back in there next time, so thank you very much. As always, I appreciate it. Um, looks like we're gonna fight, uh, fight we have Paravon, met before. or fight um, these guys. We'll fight Carl. Aquitaine. Actually has the gates, which are even more garrison. Uh, what, are the, what are the benefits of the gates? Because it already comes with a garrison and walls. They get extra leadership. And they get two foot squires, two minute arms, and two peasant bowmen. Okay, so they get 20 units. Still pretty weak. I mean, they have some bowmen, but... Should be able to just carve through those. The extra foot squares are annoying. Um, figure it out. I'm not okay. So what do we get here? Chaos units and chaos army. They get replenishment and leadership, so it doesn't affect me. It's not beastman chaos. It's just chaos. Okay, but anyways, um, we'll get back in there next time. Uh, or Kyle Musty. Not sure how that dude feels about us. They don't like us. I guess we just raid them. I mean, we can kill them, too. They have no army right now. They have a garrison. Small one. Yeah, we can burn that, too. So we have to decide. I don't know what's up Never. with Carl. Like, I mean, obviously, he's going to have, like, one Reichsguard. Carl himself is kind of tough in combat, but not really. Dahara Chaos. Yeah. I mean, should be able to attack this guy and kill him. Pretty sure Carl can go to here. No. This guy can go to here. So if we like hang out in this sweet spot right here near the river, neither one of them should be able to get us. If we kill this, so I think step one is kill this. Gain a level, and then we'll see. Uh, attacking Aquitaine might be a little bold. We might be able to go into Hidden Encamp and catch him out. 
if this Carl action does not have my consent. I feel like we can probably beat him. I mean, I might be able to get away with hiring, um... We didn't hire that extra building, did we, now? But we might be able to get away with hiring a couple of extra Ungors here. And then coming down and attacking Carl. Do but not take me for a Anyways, fool. we'll get back in there next time, so thank you very much. As always, I appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you'd like to sponsor our campaign yourself, just email me at thestretchprofessor at gmail.com. I'm happy to set that up for you. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Have a great day.